Hello everyone, Vinyl Chef Steve here. Today, I'm gonna to show those of you who have a beef with broccoli, how to cure the broccoli blues. Yes, and for those of you that um, have been watching recently, I'm continuing to drop weight and eat food that tastes really good because I'm formulating my own, my own recipes and um, taking great quality ingredients that are healthy and full of nutrients and um, not full of processed, you know, yucky, mucky stuff that uh, got me in the situation that I was in in the first place. And um, just making healthy food taste good. And, and it all depends on, you know, there's going to be pros and cons like in everything else that people tell you, oh, you shouldn't eat red meat. You shouldn't eat this. You shouldn't eat that. I mean, whatever. Look, the scale doesn't lie. My numbers don't lie. My blood sugar, as you know, I'm, I'm embarrassed to say it was, you know, average 250. Yeah, that's a 10.2 uh, A1C. And literally in 27 days, I've got my average blood sugar down to 114, which if I, you know, maintain that, that's like a 5.2 two or 5.4 a1c eating all the foods that i've eaten my liver enzymes my cholesterol everything's down all the numbers point to what i'm doing is healthy no meds no metformin no ozampic no needles or statins none of that i'm doing this because i want to be healthy i want to live long and i want to feel good in my older years. So um, I'm going to show you this recipe today that if you don't like broccoli, trust me, you're going to love it after this. It's, it's so delicious. If you don't like blue cheese, you're going to not have a problem with it in this dish because none of those things taste the way they taste in their raw form at all but they impart amazing flavor into this dish. And you can use the dish in many different ways. You can use it as your meal prep for the week. Um, you can, you know, mix it up. You can put it over a salad. You can just eat it right out of the bowl, just the way it is, and it's heavenly. So check this out, real quick and easy recipe. I was born in the desert, from the we're gonna add two tablespoons of olive oil to our pan. Over medium heat, we're gonna saute a half of finely chopped brown onion. We're gonna saute this for about three minutes. This is seven cloves of finely chopped fresh garlic. You can add anywhere from two cloves up to seven and anywhere in between, depending on your love for garlic and apparently we love garlic. So we're gonna put this into our skillet now and we're just gonna saute this for about 30 seconds. You don't wanna burn your garlic. Do not leave the stove unattended. All right, that's 30 seconds. Now we're gonna add one pound of ground beef. I like to use grass-fed organic ground beef. It's healthier, tastes better. And break it up. We're gonna break it up into little fine bits. We're gonna add a teaspoon and a half of kosher salt. And we're gonna go around with some medium cracked pepper, medium ground. One, two, Three, four, about five or six times around. Get that all mixed in. Again, you're breaking up your meat. You want your meat to be really finely ground. You don't want big chunks of hamburger in this recipe. All right, see how that's broken up in fine bits. That's what you want. Okay, at this point you can see our meat is pretty much fully browned. Now it's time to add in 
four cups of finely chopped broccoli. See that? That's fresh broccoli chopped into little tiny pieces like so. We're going to add that in to our pot. Get that mixed in with that ground beef. Now for the real kicker. This is a cup of Bob's Big Boy blue cheese salad dressing. Yeah, lay that in there, baby, and get it all. That's good stuff right there. Get that mixed in. All right, we've got that mixed in. Stir in two cups of chicken stock and bring to a rolling boil over high heat. And then reduce the heat to a medium low flame and simmer stirring every five to 10 minutes for a total of 30 to 40 minutes or until you achieve the consistency you see here. That's the consistency you want to see. There's a little bit, of, you can see the juices in there still, but very little. Everything's cooked. All the flavors have combined together. Turn off your heat and let it cool. There you go, twist on beef and broccoli. Ground beef, broccoli, and blue cheese. So you can scoop this right into a bowl if you like and just eat it with a fork or a spoon. You can put it on top of some white rice if you like. Uh, the way I like to eat it is for health purposes and to um, force me to eat less of it because it is so good. Uh, I like to put it on uh, a bed of chopped up greens. This is a, a cup of uh, baby arugula and a cup of mixed greens, 50-50 uh, baby spinach and mixed greens chopped kind of finely like that and then what I do is I just take a nice healthy scoop of this like so and I just put it right there on top maybe a little bit more a yeah, scoop and a half so it's kind of a small ladle and then uh, take some Parmesan cheese sprinkle that on there this is very healthy, you guys. I mean, this is extremely healthy. Broccoli, superfood. Look it up. Look up the nutritional value. If I'm not mistaken, broccoli even has protein in it. So this is a great source of good protein, fiber, all kinds of vitamins and minerals from the broccoli. There's garlic in there, which has, you know, immune system powers and uh, all kinds of other antioxidants. There's onions. Yeah, there's just all kinds of goodness. Yeah, the blue cheese, not so good for you, but hey, this is way better for you than a cheeseburger with bacon on it or pizza or Chinese food or anything like that. This is healthy. I don't care what anybody says. So I put it on there like that and then I'll just toss it around and you know, there's some juices in meat and, and the broccoli is gonna emit juices in here and it's gonna dress the salad so it doesn't taste like you're just eating, you know, raw greens. But yeah, it's, this is like a, a literally a hamburger with blue cheese dressed, a hamburger with fresh blue cheese minus the bun. Yeah, so I think they call this protein style. Yeah, so there you go. That's what your bites are gonna look like. And trust me, it is going to be delicious. If you don't like broccoli, you'll love it now and your body will love you for it. Thanks again for watching. I hope I've cured your blues for broccoli. This is Vinyl Chef Steve. Bye for now.